Okay, if possible, we are going to find this sum right here. The sum when n goes from 1 to infinity. And inside here, we have the inverse tangent of n minus the inverse tangent of n plus 1. We have two things inside, and this and that are the same kind. And they are just off by 1, isn't it? The input here is n, the input here is n plus 1. So you know this is going to be a telescoping situation. So we will do the usual style. Let's write down a few terms first, right? So let's see. I'm just going to use this formula here because it's you know, well written for us already. There's no too much algebra we can do. So I'm just going to plug in n is equal to 1 to here and here. So let me indicate that when n is equal to 1, plug in 1 to here, plug in 1 to here, right? First term, we will have the inverse tangent of 1. And then minus the inverse tangent of 1 plus 1, which is 2. So this is the first term when n is equal to 1. And then we'll be adding this with when n is equal to 2. So plugging 2 into here and here, we will have the inverse tangent of 2 minus the inverse tangent of 3, like that, right? And let me just put on one more, plus n is equal to 3. So inverse tangent of 3 minus the inverse tangent of 3 plus 1, which is 4, and so on. So put on plus da 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 plus let's put on the formula right here. For the nth term, we will have the inverse tangent of n minus the inverse tangent of n plus one. And then it keeps on going forever, right? Okay, so I see you guys can all see this. And now here's the best part, the cancellation part. This one stays because there's no other inverse tangent one. This right here cancels out with this one right away. This right here and that cancel each other off right away. And you know this is going to be canceled out with that. And this is what we have right here. But something in the front is going to cancel this, right? So cancel, cancel. With that being said, we only have that, the actual number part wise. One of this left, right? And the reason is because this and that is just off by one. So you can expect to have just one turn left, the actual number wise. Therefore, this is going to be the inverse tangent of 1, all right, the actual number wise. However, you must put this down as well. You have to take this into consideration, all right? So I will put this down in blue. Minus, right, that's a minus. And we have the inverse tangent of n plus 1, like this. This is the formula part. And we have to see what will happen as n goes to infinity. So we take the limit of this, right? OK, so the first one is just inverse tangent of 1. And we know that we can calculate this, right? So you have to ask yourself, tangent of what angle will give you 1? This is just pi over 4, because tangent of pi over 4 give you 1, right? All right, when n goes to infinity, Infinity plus 1 is still infinity. Inverse tangent of infinity is you know, that horizontal asymptote, that limit, that pi over 2. This right here is going to give us pi over 2, right? And that's a minus. So as you can see, here we're dealing with finite values. And of course, we can just work with this. Right here, let's go ahead and multiply 2 and 2. And you will see that this is 1 pi minus 2 pi, so we have negative pi over the same denominator, negative pi over 4, like this. Therefore, this right here converges. And it converges to negative pi over 4. Once again, let me just write this down right here for you guys. This right here, it converges. And the reason is because we find the value for the convergence, right? This converges to negative pi over 4. It is possible to end up with a negative value because in fact, this term is bigger than the previous term, right? So you just keep adding negative values along the way, infinitely many times. That's the answer. That's it. Telescoping sum again.